So today I'm going to be taking a look at XPath. XPath is a way of selecting nodes in HTML. It's also a way of selecting it in XML, but we'll just take a look at the HTML side of it today. XPath is going to be the last choice of selecting elements because you do want to start using ID tags because that's going to be the most reliable way of doing it. It's a very brittle way of using XPath. And in XPath, there's even two different ways of selecting it. There's going to be a relative path and an absolute path. But let me show you all of these things. So I have a basic HTML site here. This is the HTML for it, and this is the CSS for it. But let's select this input tag down here. So in Chrome, I will just open the developer tools, and I will then select this element. Right down here, I can hit right click, and then copy, and then I can copy the X path or the full X path. This one here is going to be the relative path, which is the one you want to use because it's it's going to be a little less brittle than this one here because the full X path is going to be the full path, which means that if anything in the path changes, then the path will be broken. So it's a very, very absolute path. But in some instances, you may have to do this. And if you know the data is never going to change, then you can use this. But I wouldn't recommend using it unless you're really, really sure. But let's just copy the X path here. And it looks like this. And the other X path, the absolute one, looks like this. But you can see both of these will give us an error. So we need a function to give us the element. And Google Chrome has a built in function. And the same function is also built into Puppeteer. So if you're using XPath in Puppeteer, you can also use this function. But I will show you that later. But in Google Chrome, it looks like this dollar $x. And then you pass in the path. And we can use either of these paths. But let's just use the dynamic one. And you can see this gives us an array. So if we want our element, we can just grab the first element and that will give us our input and we can do whatever we want with it. This is essentially just a selector like get by ID. And we can also quickly just test the other one here. It's going to work the exact same way. And that will also give us our element. But in case you don't have access to this dollar X, since this is a Google Chrome thing, I know Firefox have something similar, but let's say you don't have access to this and it gives you an error. Well, what are you then going to do? Well, JavaScript, of course, has a way of doing this manually. It looks a bit complicated, but the only thing you really need to change is this here. And you can just put in your X path. And that will give you the same element. Now let's take a look at one more example. So let's try to get this yellow box just to drive home the point. And by the way, the structure of this is that I have a body element, then I have a red box, green box, an empty div, and a blue box, yellow box, and then I have the input. So let's try getting the yellow box. And we'll copy the X path. Now you can see the way that it changes. It actually uses the ID because it says, well, the ID is probably going to be the best way of selecting it. And in this case, it wouldn't actually be any different from just using get by ID. So in this case, it would be a relatively strong way of getting that yellow box. But if you don't give it an ID, then it can't really do that. And then it will have to use some other way of getting that element. So if we copy this, for instance, then you can see that it's path is going to be like this. So you can see it is very different from the other one. So and this here is very, very brittle because you can see it selects the diff number three in the body. So if the structure of this changes just a little bit, then this selector is going to select either something else or just nothing at all. So you do want to be careful using X path and you want to use the ID as much as possible. But what does all of these symbols mean? How could you construct this yourself if you don't want Google Chrome to do it for you? Or whatever tool you're using to get these paths? Well, you can read up on this article here. It is on W Free School. And essentially, it just talks about the X path and the syntax for it. And it shows you what all of these selectors do. But like I said, use X path as a last resort to get a value because it is going to be very brittle. But you can see in some situations, it's actually equally as strong as get element by ID. But it really depends. So be careful of using it. And just a quick bonus if you're using this in Puppeteer, then it would look something like this you would do page dot dollar X. 
and then you would pass in your X path and then grab the first element and that will select your element using X path. Now, if you want me to do a full video on X path in Puppeteer, then comment down below and like the video and then I will do that as well so we can see a more practical example of using X path. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here and hopefully I see you in the next one.